Hi everyone, David here. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for coming back for another video. Um, it feels like a long time since I said that. I haven't done one of these face-to-face -face things for a little while, I guess. Um, I don't know when the last time was. But I hope you're all doing well. Um, yeah, I'm doing okay now. I'm kind of over most of the worst of the COVID, so uh, that's good. And I've had a chance to actually get out of the house. <laughs> I've had a really exhausting month um, with COVID and then uh, work a lot. And then, yeah, I've taken a trip. So that's what I'm going to talk about today. Um, I think last month I made a video about the Saikoro Kippu, the uh, kind of dice ticket where you pay some money, uh, 5,000 yen, and you get a return ticket to a random location from a selection of uh, seven places. Uh, I got Onomichi, um, which was my, my selection, which I was a, <laughs> yeah, a little bit of a shame because I'd already been there in March. But I thought I'd take the opportunity to visit there. Um, it turns out quite briefly, <laughs> and then I uh, then moved on to Hiroshima City, which I haven't visited for about five years. So I'm going to uh, do a little video about what I did on the trip and some nice places to visit. Uh, last week I also uploaded a video walking around in uh, Hiroshima at night. So you can see the castle, the um, kind of atomic bomb dome and the, um, what else, the Peace Memorial Garden. So please check that out. And also check out the Onomichi video as well, because um, there's not really that much Onomichi in this this, uh, this video. So I'm sorry to Saikorokibu, maybe um, that's not the point of their ticket. <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyway, I'm just going to get straight into it. Um, yeah, that's all. Uh, so please subscribe, like, video, comment, anything you can. I'm getting a bit lonely on this channel, so please, uh, please let me know what you think about everything. Uh, okay, I'm going to pass over to myself, my little narration type video, so uh, please enjoy, okay? Okay, my journey started in Shinosaka Station, very quiet in the morning. Uh, this was a Sunday morning, about 7am, uh, so not many people around. But fortunately, my train turned up on time, as they always do in Japan, <laughs> especially the Shinkansen. Uh, here it comes. So this is the, uh, yeah, the bullet train, famous symbol of Japanese technology. You can see the very smooth aerodynamic um, front. Well, that's the back, actually. Uh, so time to get on board. And... Uh, Oh, not that door. Okay, that wasn't for me. <laughs> it's a lot easier to take Shinkansen a lot of the time because you don't have to go to the airport, don't have to check in. It even looks a bit like a plane inside, but uh, even has even more space. So this uh, this Shinkansen was going all the way down to um, Kagoshima, I think. And this is the Sakura type. There are a few different types. Nozomi is the fastest that makes the fewest stops. Um, but yeah, this was train was going all the way down to Kagoshima in the south uh, southernmost corner of Kyushu. I was going to take it off at Fukuyama, you can see that on the screen, as part of my uh, Saikoro Kippu, the dice ticket I drew a few weeks ago, the random ticket. So there we go, goodbye Shinosaka. Um, on my way westward, over to uh, Hiroshima Prefecture. You can see the seats are quite comfortable. Um, again, more luxurious than a plane, I think. You get a bit more, uh, a bit more leg room, more comfortable, a bit more elbow room too. And uh, I can't zoom in on this new camera, that's great. So. You can't really see at the bottom. You can see a little PowerPoint as well. So if you uh, if you're running out of the <laughs> out of the house early, you can charge up your phone or your laptop. Uh, we've got little tray tables too, looking very nice wood panelly. There we go. Not much you can say about a tray table, but very useful for when you're having your lunch. And uh, plenty of little storage spaces for all your stuff too, including this umbrella hook, which I guess you can use for your jacket as well. So also very useful. And a little shutter to see outside if you want to. Very nice day in Osaka. Nobody would guess there was a typhoon on its way, uh, apart from the bit of rain on the winds on the windows. There we go. Goodbye, Osaka. So let's take a look inside the um, Shinkansen cabin as well. Uh, between the cars, there's actually quite a lot of space and a lot of facilities you can use. Uh, there's a fire extinguisher there. We've got the men's toilet. I thought I'd show you inside if you've never seen a urinal before. <laughs> Do you say urinal or urinal? I don't know, maybe it's a British English thing, I don't know. But there we go, now you know. A nice map of everything in the um, in the train. What's all that? Disabled access. They've even got a smoking room if you need that fix of nicotine. Um, we've got a multi-purpose room. I think this is mostly for disabled passengers. Um, okay, my thing's not focusing there, but you've got bins too. Nice little window to the outside and, uh, oh hello, there we go. A little uh, washing station after you've used the toilet. I didn't actually go into the toilet. It's one of those giant ones that you can uh, you can use. There we go. You don't see a toilet, do you? <laughs> and you've even got a phone, which was out of service. But there we go. You can enjoy the look of a new phone. 
So there we go, that's uh, goodbye Shinkansen. I was deposited in uh, Fukuyama Station, but I wasn't gonna stay. That was only part of the trip to um, Onomichi, where I take a considerably uh, less high-tech train <laughs> all the way to Onomichi. It doesn't take very long, about 20 minutes. Um, it's quite nice inside. And I went to um, yeah Onomichi to Senkoji. There's a uh, observation station, so you can see all the way down the river. Onomichi is quite a busy port and uh, port town, and also has a large suspension bridge, which is part of the Shiminami Kaido, the bridge to Shikoku. Um, I have made a video about Okayama already, uh, sorry, Onomichi, uh, so please check that out. You can see a bit more detail. Uh, but my, actually, I wasn't staying very long. My friend who picked me up in Onomichi kindly drove me to Hiroshima. So here's Hiroshima City with its uh, famous old style tram. Very cute little thing. Uh, also, no flies for me, thank you. Um, I was planning on doing a walking video uh, during uh, all the way through Hiroshima City, but um, I gave up actually because I was tired. I wanted to check into the hotel. Um, but I did do a night walking video, please check that out, that's already on my channel. Uh, I went from Hiroshima Castle, uh, past the Atomic Bomb Dome, uh, to the uh, Peace Memorial Garden. Um, so definitely check that out. Hiroshima, of course, famous for its, uh, un well, yeah, the bombing in 1945, the atomic bomb was dropped on it. Um, but it's bounced back, thankfully, and it's a now thriving city for millions of people in Hiroshima Prefecture. Um, so please take a look around. Um, yeah, please check out my walking video, of course. Um, need something to chill out to and watch that. Uh, where was I going next? I decided to go to the Peace Memorial Museum after this, where uh, they've re remodeled it recently. And you can see very vivid displays of the destruction caused by the atomic bomb, including this kind of projection mapping display, uh, where you can see yeah before and after the bomb. Here we go. Very uh, moving, very shocking. Um, you can see the yeah the devastation brought by the atomic bomb. Um, they've just renewed it, uh, about, I think 2019. So you can see a lot of new displays, a lot of eyewitness accounts, really um, tragic and um, moving. So definitely recommend going there so you can kind of get a sense of the history, including this huge panorama. You can see the devastation. That's the atomic bomb dome in the middle. Um, you can see what was left over a few days after the uh, bombing. Really awful. I was going to take some videos inside the museum, but I felt a bit weird about it. It was very quiet, uh, solemn atmosphere, and I felt you know, that wasn't really appropriate. So um, you can see a lot of photos too, but there's so many uh, kind of pieces of, um, I'm going to say, things left over from the bombing. Uh, the next day, though, I was uh, took a very heavily advertised Hiroshima Carps uh, train to Miyajima, uh, the famous island off the coast of Hiroshima Prefecture. This is Miyajima Gucci Station where you can catch a ferry. Um, there we go, there's the ferry. There are two companies that use the ferries. Um, I forgot the name of the other one, but JR, uh, JR Ferries, that was the one I was gonna catch because I missed the other one by a few minutes. There we go, here's my ride. So take the ferry, only takes us about 10 minutes. Uh, again, even though the typhoon was coming, the water was very calm. Um, I don't know if it's usually so calm, but a nice view across the water. You can see Miyajima, um, very famous uh, kind of holy island. And uh, yeah, 10 minutes and there you are. We reached reached the um, Miyajima station, Miyajima port terminal. And you can do a bit of sightseeing down the yeah, nice coastline. I have got a walking video on the way and this is a little snippet of it. But you can see Itsukushima, Itsukushima uh, Shrine, one of the most beautiful places on the island. And this is also famous uh, as having one of Japan's top three views. Um, so yeah, uh, Utsukushima Shrine has a nice view out into the sea. The tide was out at the moment. Um, they are under a bit of renovation at the moment too. So unfortunately, the famous view of the Red Tory Gate was also blocked by uh, scaffolding. But that should be finished by the end of the year. Uh, so definitely check back after the end of 2022. I was a bit hungry after this, so I decided to sample the Hiroshima Okonomiyaki. It's a bit different to the Osaka style. Uh, they make it with um, noodles as well, soba noodles. And I decided to have a local specialty, which is the conga eel, sea eel, uh, which they made into fish cakes. I have the special. You can see that being made in front of you. And there we are. That's the Hiroshima Okonomiyaki. You can see the noodles inside, very delicious. And some Hiroshima cola to wash it down. And uh, definitely take a walk down um, the shopping street around uh, Miyajima, including these rather ostentatious <laughs> displays of, I don't know, Buddha. I guess that's uh, going to bring you some fortune. 
but lots of gift shops, um, all kind of local products as well. Uh, you can even try some local sweets, including um, momiji manju. Uh, this is a fried <laughs> momiji manju on sticks, um, very greasy but delicious. And even some uh, mascot character things, so Rilakkuma is a famous uh, character. So you can see Rilakkuma themed um, sweets, very cute. Uh, but even cuter are the real animals. Here we go, there's a deer. <laughs> very tame as well, walking around trying to get your food. Even brought their baby along. And uh, oh dear, that looks painful. Um, sometimes they make a bit of a nuisance of themselves. This is <laughs> walking into the cafe. Uh, I followed these for a little while. The staff had to come and chase them out, uh, but it's all harmless fun. Nobody, nobody was hurt. And uh, Miyajima is also famous for uh, oysters, so definitely check those out if you're into that. I'm a bit squeamish about oysters, to be honest. I don't want to get sick on holiday, so I didn't try that. Um, but yeah, take a look around, see what you fancy. Like I said, Momiji Manju is a famous uh, souvenir, famous sweets from um, Hiroshima. So you can try those, that's uh, red bean paste, Angkor filled uh, cakes in the shape of maple leaves. And after that, quite a long day, I decided to take a trip to neighbouring Yamaguchi Prefecture just so I could check out uh, Kintaikyo, a famous bridge. Um, it takes about an hour from uh, Miyajima, it's in the same direction, so I thought I'd take a little detour. Uh, the bridge was closed for me though, it was about 5 o'clock already, so I couldn't go across, but it takes some nice views from down by the river. People fishing there, skimming stones, it's a very kind of peaceful area. Well, some people are crossing the bridge, okay. Maybe from the other side it's okay. But yeah, definitely a beautiful place to go. Iwakuni Castle on the top in the little hill you can see there. So definitely check that out. I uh, went back to Miyajimiguchi Station and decided I was going to take the tram back because um, I just don't have many chances to use trams. It's quite a, bit of a novelty for me. Uh, I don't recommend it, to be honest. The trams are very nice, but uh, it did take quite a long time. I think uh, almost well, more than an hour to get back to Hiroshima Station. Um, so maybe just take the train. Well, that was my last day, actually. Uh, typhoon was coming, so here are the souvenir shops. Uh, some autumn-themed products. And uh, what's, what are those um, local lemon-themed lemon, lemon -themed things? and the Momiji Manju as well. Uh, definitely check out the souvenirs. Um, that's part of Japanese culture. If you take a trip, you should buy some souvenirs for your co-workers and friends and family. Um, so I took a look around, bought some things for everybody. This is a Momiji Manju shop. So you can see those little leaf-shaped cakes. They come in all kinds of flavors too. So if you don't like red bean paste, you can try like chocolate or uh, kind of cheesecake, green tea, all those kind of things. So yeah, stock up on souvenirs, definitely. And another thing about using the Shinkansen is using, uh, getting an ekiben, um, station bento, station lunchbox, made by, uh, you know, made with local ingredients. So I checked out the, the selection there. They've got some eel lunchboxes there. Yep, definitely check those out for the train ride back. Speaking of which, Typhoon was coming, so I had to change my ticket to get the Shinkansen all the way back to Osaka. And uh, yeah, very lucky because the Typhoon was cancelling uh, all the Shinkansen west of Hiroshima. Um, luckily I was going east, so that was fine for me. So there we go, that's me on the way back to uh, Osaka. But uh, time to try my uh, Ekiben. So this is a Hiroshima Bento using local products, including uh, bamboo shoots, beef and the uh, conga eel. And they give you everything you need. You've got a little pack with, uh, what's that, chopsticks, little hand wipe, um, toothpick as well. Everything you need, a little bit shaky. And delicious local ingredients, got mushrooms, uh, yeah, bean sprouts, no, sorry, um, bamboo shoots, a little tentacle there, beef and uh, eel, very delicious. Yeah, definitely check out the Eki Ben on the way back. Um, so that's the end of my video. I hope that was interesting. I hope that encourages you to come to Hiroshima City. Uh, I feel a bit sorry for uh, Onomichi because uh, I used my dice ticket to get a cheap uh, trip there, but I didn't really spend much time. But check out my video for Onomichi as well. I'll put the link in the description as well. Um, yep, yeah, definitely check out Hiroshima. A lot of history, a lot of uh, nice places to see as well. Um, thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, like this video, comment what did you enjoy and come back for the next one. Okay, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.